What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Most Hated JC, back at y'all with episode three of that Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Ugh. <laughs> You know, I hope y'all enjoyed these first, those first two episodes, man. Like I said, bro, y'all not finna see, like, current JC for a minute. Because, like I said, for, I'm gonna be, by the time you're seeing this, I'm, I've been out of town for a few days already. But I'm gonna be out of town for a good chunk of November. So, I'm having to record a week's worth of videos in one day, you know, to cover my time gone. So, I'm just hoping y'all have been enjoying the series. And just in case y'all leave tips and tricks for series, bro, like, you know what I mean? I, I can't, you're not gonna see them applied for a minute, bro. <laughs> but hey, man, I enjoyed those first two episodes. You know, we're just getting used to our setting, the characters around us. You saw when we left off, they called us all to the gym now that we finally met everybody. Why are we going to the gym for again? Did they say the gym? <laughs> I could be wrong, bro, but hey, man, let's see what these little bears want from a bro. Dangamrompa. How can you not hear this and get hype, bro? But as you can tell, I'm having a great day, so I hope you guys are too. Like I said, let's see what these bears want from a bro. All right, continue from where you left off. Prologue, school life, yes, sir. It's episode three, and we're still in the prologue. <laughs> oh my god, is that my fault, y'all? Or like, am I making good progress? Uh, what's good, my boy? Shoe. But um, they did say. But I think we didn't check our Angie's report card, though. You know, I checked everybody, so I gotta see where she at. Angie, she's five one, ninety pounds, twenty eight chest, a blood type. Date of birth, April 18th. Likes avocados, dislikes humidity. Okay, and she's the ultimate artist. So now that is everybody's report card red. I don't know why I did that. Like, I don't have to go to the map. Let's go, shoe. Let's leave this area. Let's head back to, to the gym. They go gather everybody up for what? You know, what are we getting gathered for? Like, who knows if we can even trust trust these bears. I mean, we know we can. <laughs> they really trapped us here against our will. Yeah, everybody went to the gym. So let's just go see what this talking about. Well, like I said, I hope y'all been enjoying this so far, man. I, I know I have been. Like I said, I'm a big Dangan fan. So I am so excited uh, that people wanted to see me play this on the channel, bruh. Because I am very excited to do so. The gym, there we go. That's where we need to go. Let's just... Let's just fast travel to the... Okay. You don't... All right. Ugh, the map's not cooperating, so we're gonna run there. But yeah, I'm just glad uh, people wanted it was okay with me playing the third one, even though I haven't played the other ones on the channel, because, like, you know, I've already seen them. You know? So shout out to y'all, everybody watching, everybody who voted on that poll all that time ago. We're here, but dang in three. <laughs> I love this. I love the games we're playing. Red Dead and Dangin, finna be a good time. But why did y'all want us at the gym, bro? Last time we were here, y'all restore our memory, so. Oh, what's good, to be? <laughs> all 16 of us have gathered. Mm. It's pretty spectacular seeing all 16 of us ultimates gather together. Ultimate astronaut, Kaito. That's a nasty laugh, but what do we expect from him? He's a freak. You may not be able to be so easygoing for much longer. Like, bro, what do you do? You know what they're about to say to us? Um. In this situation, it's no use thinking about things. So eventually, Tamugi stopped thinking. You're just in the third person now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's gonna happen to us? I bet it'll be a big pain. Hmm. Uh, we saw. We. I remember everybody. What? It hasn't been that long since I played. What are you looking at? Kimiko! You can use amazing powers, right? Because you're a psychic and stuff, right? She's actually a mage. Like, get it right. It's magic. I'm not a psychic. I'm a mage, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's amazing. I definitely want to incorporate that into Neo Ak Akito. How are you going to incorporate, incorporate magic into a fighting style? What are you talking about, Tenko? 
You're clearly lacking in the brains department. Hey, what sort of training did you undergo to gain your awesome powers? <laughs> Talking about it is too tiring. <sighs> You're pretty lazy. Damn, Kaede! Please wait. Oh, my boy Kibo. Pardon me, but we need to be on our guard. We do not know if and when danger will strike. Oh, it's danging, bro. Danger is for shelf in a strike. Please don't. D don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I could trust how this dude acts. Kokichi, like I said, I'm convinced. Ultimate liar. Ultimate instigator, bro. Like that ultimate supreme leader. You're not fooling me, bro. It'll be okay. There's no need to worry. Atua will protect us. She has an accent, but I don't know, like, what type of accent I should do. I kind of like that little NPC TikTok streamer voice I just did. That might be her voice. Goodness. Like I said, it's the early episodes. We just got to find the voice. You, that's a relief. She must not know Kokichi yet. Fucking moron. Oh my gosh, I forgot about you. <laughs> Is your brain full, full of weeds or something? I'll whack him out of that skull of yours. Golly. Don't worry about it. Just leave it to me. Leave it to me. If those teddy bears show themselves again, I'll kick all their behinds. Okay, solo squad, but you the ultimate astronaut. Like, what? Don't you wonder. What fades is astronauts getting into? Huh? What's that? Uh, my boy Gonta. What's wrong? This dude's voice still throw me off. See? Listen. Hear that? Huh? Ah, I think I hear it. It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. Okay, Evangelion reference. I see it. I thought y'all said y'all wasn't bringing them back yet. <laughs> I thought y'all said it wasn't. I swear they said it wasn't time for the Exy Souls yet. That's the pronunciation I'm going with, Exy Souls. Where are y'all back in robots? Okay. Everyone. Ugh, behind Gonta! Okay, Gonta, I like you! What? what the heck are these monsters? Wow! So cool! Like, bro, Kokichi, you're gonna throw me off, brother. Hell yeah! They're Exosols! Highly mobile bipedal weapons platforms! They got lots of hometown pride, too! They rep in a lab? Like, what do you mean? What are you saying? I can't keep track of these backstories, right? First they had a wife and kids, now they rep the hometown. <laughs> Whatever they are, they better kill off the uggles and save me for last. Oh my god. Hey! Run, Himiko! Why are you antagonizing? Why are you con concerned about me all of a sudden, right? By the way. Didn't someone say they would kick all their behinds? She really hit, uh, 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 I forgot his name, but the ultimate astronaut would've... Miss you, bro? Like, damn! Huh? Kaito, now you're scared! Oh my gosh. What the hell? Nobody told me about these! It's okay. Alright, chill out. No need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. Ron Taro, I still don't know how to feel about him, y'all. If they wanted to kill us, they'd have done it by now. With that, Rontaro casually walked up to the Exosols. Like, I feel like he's gonna be like... Like, obviously, like, the leader in a sense, right? Like, calming everybody down the level head. But like we've seen, he has a little psychotic side. We need to keep him away from Kokichi, because I feel like him and Kokichi together is just no good for everybody involved. I'm not gonna lie. Then... So... What do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? Let me guess. You're gonna force us to do something, and if we don't, we get hurt, right? That means... Well, you have our attention. So what do you want? Because nobody else has the goal to do this, you know? And that's that. Oh, well, aren't you a wise guy? Hey! I'll start us off. Listen up, here's what we want you punk behinds to do. What? <laughs> My heart's going 100 miles per hour. I'm gonna say it. You ready? Hell yeah. It's a... It's a killing game. Those are your first words, bro. Really? <laughs> Those are the first words you choose to speak this series. I'm not mad at it, do you, bro? Huh? What? Hey! Mono damn! How dare you upstage me? 
Wait a second. What did you say? I must have not heard you right. You're tripping. Hmm. It, if I heard him correctly. It's a killing game. Oh my god, we're here. Like I said, you gotta give them time to stir the pot and cook up, bro. We're here, bro. The true essence of Danganronpa has begun. <laughs> oh, he said it again. <laughs> God damn it, Mono Dam! I'm gonna crush you with this here Exosoul! Come on, we don't have time to fight amongst ourselves. Even this beat is different. Okay, so it looks like there's no more returning tracks in this game. It's straight new sound design. Okay, I see you, Spike Tunes Off and Co. Okay! Yeah, if you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you with this here Exosoul! Hmm. You too, Montaro. Monotaro. <laughs> If this is what it's come to, then I will crush the floor of you with this here Exosol. So can y'all kill each other and then we could just stop not participating in the killing game, please? What are you saying? Hey, why are you including me? Oh well. It's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. Uh, uh, so they really bought a box? Go, jabroni. What the hell is a jabroni? Who are you calling jabroni? Jabroni? Okay, bro. What'd you say, Jabroni? All right, bro. I'll go down anytime, Jabroni. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Uh, okay, Mono Funny. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's an iconic thing. I like that better than Jabroni. Seriously? Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? Right, bro. Like, I thought we were the main characters. Don't worry. Atua is watching over us. So Atua is just everything you talk about, Angie? In a situation like this, is he just going to watch? <laughs> Damn, why are you pressing her beliefs? Either way, it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here or else... Right, what they finna do? Now, now, now. Hold on, who was that? That was none of the mono cubs. <laughs> who was that? What? There's a, there's a, there's a, uh, a sixth one? Because isn't there five of them? My cute little cubs. You gotta knock off this awful fighting. There really is six of these things. Oh, the yeah, bro. If you know Dangan, we all know who that voice belongs to, but I'm not gonna say too much for the first timers. Uh Yeah, cause there's five monoco. Father, is that you? There's no way they brought him back for a third time, bro. Papa Kuma! Papa Kuma! Daddy! Where are you? I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm about to turn 20, bro. I'm not... No. <laughs> huh? Yeah. D. Well, I'm not saying that, bro. I'm 20... I'm about to be 20 years old, bro. At that moment, the lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. There's no way they really brought this man back for the third game. How? How is he here? How is he here? There's no way. <laughs> He's really back for round three? How? <laughs> How is he still here? I am the god of this new world. Okay, death no reference, I see it. And the headmaster of the ultimate academy. Mono Kuma himself, bruh. How is he back for round three? How does he keep getting revived? The one! The only! Monokuma! Nice to meet ya! Oh my god! <laughs> Yay! Father's here! Oh, even he gets a revamp theme? Hold up! ba 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 He's really here! Hell yeah! Another epic entrance from Papa Kuma! Hello! He is so cool! So what, Monokuma just has five kids now? Who's the mom? You're all so freaking cute! Unbelievable. The only reason I can tolerate your tiresome antics is because you're all so cute! 
I did not expect we were gonna see him in this game. He wasn't even in the cover art, bruh. But okay, I'm kinda glad they brought, I mean, I'm not glad, cause like, you know what his entrance means, but it's always nice seeing familiar faces. <laughs> Even when the prologue is going way too long, I'll allow it because you guys are cute. Okay, so the prologue is supposed to take long. I'm not garbage. <laughs> In fact, the very first prologue ever was only short because you cutie patooties weren't there. He's breaking the fourth wall talking about Dangan 1, bro. It's Dangan 3, bro. So, okay. But the prologue is supposed to be long. I don't feel bad no more. Because I was like, should I really be taking three videos to get through this prologue? But they talking about it themselves. So I hope y'all didn't mind. Pops! Are you mad at us? Don't be stupid. I would never get mad at my cute little cubs. <laughs> he is mad. <laughs> but he is so cool even when he's Okay, Monofani, like, are you sure you just like him at, in, in a paternal way? Because you're getting way too lit off his entrance. That's right. Pops is from a planet of handsome bears that get cooler as they get angrier. He really programmed them to say this, too. That's crazy. Ba -ba 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 -bo, ba -ba 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 -bo. It's getting interesting. Super Monokuma. Super Monokuma 2. Super Monokuma 3. And finally, Super Monokuma 4. What? Oh my How god! How many times do I gotta say it? <laughs> I'm not mad! Now why did you just why did you just body them like that? Hold on, how do I Damn, I wanna see if I can get this uh text out of the picture. Ah, father just transformed into a super monokuma god, super monokuma! Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan! They love referencing other animes! A Death Note reference and a Dragon Ball Z reference? Okay, dang it, y'all cultured. I'd love to see it. That's only possible when six Monokumas of pure heart are gathered together. Yeah, that, that's literally how, how the Super Saiyan God and Dragon Ball Z works. That's crazy. It's the power you bust out when you really want to fuck the world shit up! Oh my god, they curse so hard. A power you only see when the gods themselves do battle. Oh, I love this game. You know? Anyway. Like I said, y'all, I gotta, you know? <laughs> I gotta record a week's worth of videos in one day, so... You're gonna see these a lot. It's my best friend right now. <laughs> anyway, I'm really not mad. In fact, I gotta admit that I'm actually proud of you guys. Okay? You kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in the world. God damn. No way. Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. Yeah, but... I can't think of any, though. So that's why Monokuma's back. Oh my... It's how you treat your kids, Monokuma? You beat on them twice, then you just met them, like, in this game? But father remembers, because he knows everything. Monokuma's so abusive, bro. Holy shit! That's right, Papa Kuma. You know all kinds of useless crap. Like, you see him all the way in the back flying? How is he just talking regular like he didn't get boomed just now? Because daddy gets all his alternate facts from the most trusted names in fake news. What? So he's not a credible source then. Phew. I love embarrassing, embracing my children. My fault. They're so cute, I just can't help myself. Usually ratings will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. <laughs> but in this case, ratings are through the roof. All thanks to the cute Mono Cubs. Okay, Monokuma. Like, how you know your game sells? Like, <laughs> this was made before it came out. What is this? What's going on? Seems like another teddy bear appeared. No. Yes, but that is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it. The despair and madness swirling around that cursed thing. Like, you hear how he actually is and then you hear his theme? Like, this is too happy-go-lucky for uh, how sinister this dude is. But he's a, a cutesy mascot. Like, that's crazy to me. You're really bugging me. Whoa! First off... No teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. And show some respect. I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Huh? Headmaster? 
It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot with a built-in AI. Like me, okay? You recognize him? Dun dun dun! Y'all like cousins or something? Yeah, but... The Exosols are different, though. They're brainless buckets of bolts. That's right! They're mindless, pretty killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the Monocubs. Okay, so only they get Exosols. Got you. Sheesh. Autonomous robots piloting weapons platforms. This is certainly turning into quite the story. I still can't get how his voice is so deep. Well, that may be. But what I'm worried about is this killing game you mentioned. What exactly does that mean? Right, Rontaro? Talk to them. <laughs> I feel like my Monokuma voice is kinda calm, bruh. Y'all can't lie. I like, 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 I know I'm not no voice actor. Shout out to all the voice actors. Y'all always have nothing but my highest respect, but my Monokuma voice is pretty calm if I say so myself, but you know, it sounds good when I hear it. <laughs> How? What is so amusing? Yeah. It's just what I said it before. I kind of just phoned it in and now I feel awkward. What? Extreme! I want you students with your ultimate level talents to participate in a killing game. <laughs> He's nuts, bro. What do you mean a killing game? Talk to us. Huh? This, this track is very familiar though. Okay. <laughs> killing game? Us? Please stop. Why would we agree to participate in a killing game? Huh? You guys don't want to do it? Obviously not, why would we want to kill each other, Monokuma? Gota never do that! Of course not! Gentlemen not hurt people! And another thing. But if you looked around the academy, then you already know, don't you? The academy is surrounded by a huge wall! You cannot escape to the outside world! You're trapped here to do my bidding! Like, bro, he's a freak! And as long as we have the Exosols, you can't defy us! Oh my god. This is next level gas of, like, manipulation, bro. In other words, I hold the power of life and death over each and every one of you! So unsure. So do what you say if we don't want to die. You gotta be kidding me! Why would friends kill each other? Uh -oh. Who said you guys were friends? Damn! He's really pr- I thought we was making friends last episode! You guys aren't friends at all! <laughs> Your enemies out to kill each other! <laughs> uh, enemies? Nah, me and Shu are locked in though, like, you know? If anybody's friends, it's me and Shu. You know? I don't know about everybody else. We're enemies? I'm for sure enemies with Gonza, cause like, he's sneaking up the place with his feet out. I still have a lot to learn from father about sarcasm. All oh, this talking is bugging the crap out of me. I gotta beat up Mono Damn to relieve the stress. You have abuse issues. Like, he's projecting the abuse from Monokuma on the Mono Damn. That's your brother at the end of the day. That's all you got. <laughs> he don't even care. But I don't like that. I'm not good with violence or gore or sad situations. Um, Dad? Instead of a killing game, can we do a rock, paper, scissors tournament? You stupid! Who wanna play a game where no one dies? I mean, he's not wrong. Hmm. Well, you do have a compassionate personality. It's so cute I can barely stand it! You're so cute. Why? It's cute enough to eat! Cute enough that I wanna eat it! You wanna eat your daughter, bro? What do the Monokumas got going on behind closed doors, y'all? <laughs> right! Hey. Not funny. You might want to dial back that cute shtick a bit. Right, bro. Chill out. Alright. Cool it with the stupid banter. I want to ask something. <laughs> How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you going to give us weapons? Look at the, the former murderer asking the, uh, you know, for the details, bro. What the hell, man? What are you asking? But we need to get info from them first. We can't do anything if we don't know anything. No way! Weapons, huh? What kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? You couldn't be more wrong. Why, at the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, da, 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 da. the killing game is quite the 
refined, sophisticated experience. Yeah, you know, us seasoned dangin' veterans, we know how it get down, bro. So for all the first timers, make sure you really lock in so you can understand the plots, you know? What? Sophisticated experience? This OST is like perfect with these moments, bro. Yeah, yeah. Here, the killing game is punctuated by class trials. Yeah, you know, hence the world's greatest detective coming in to save the day. You know? Uh. Class trials? Okie dokie. Let us explain. Okay. There we go, all class right, trial. So if one of you maggots kills someone, you all gotta take part in a class trial. I'm gonna let them voice act so y'all can really, like, you know, take in the info. I already know how it works. The class trial is where the blackened killer faces off against their spotless classmates. Indeed. It's where you punk ass bitches argue over Dang. who you fucking think the blackened is. Oh my gosh, it's not that serious, Mono Kid. After that, it's voting time! Golly. And if the majority of you idiots vote correctly... Then only the Blackened Killer will receive p, -p punishment There we go. So girl. She ran about to throw just up. Just imagining all the blood and car makes me want to puke. Like I said, bro, it's finna get serious. After the Blackened is punished, the rest of you will just keep right on living together. Yes, sir. If you vote for the wrong person during the class trial, tell them the blacken gets off scot free, uh, and all the spotless students get punished instead. Indubitably, <laughs> you got nothing to say. Hell yeah! Them's the rules of the class trial. Woohoohoo! Oh! Relax, you are not Michael Jackson. We did not need to hear a shimon out of you. <laughs> he did not need a shimon. <laughs> Ew, put your tongue away. Ah, too much. That explanation revealed way too much. You gotta be more coy, flirtatious, seductive, just like your old man. Yeah, you're definitely on the list, bro. Don't say that with your tongue out. Gross. <laughs> right, Himiko. Hey, um. The point is, it's not enough to kill someone. You also have to survive the class trial. Investigations, bro. How should I put this? Kill without being caught and then survive the trial? Sounds eerily similar to the real world. Mmm, message, Ronsoro! Unbelievable. You think so? And the outside world must be masterfully designed, even at its cruelest. Listen. One can likely imagine, but I shall ask just in case. What is the punishment you mentioned earlier yeah, yeah. simply put it's an execution huh? <laughs> execution like i said bruh dang and finna get serious you just gotta let them cook up a little bit and how to set the scene uh, oh my god you do a crime, get back up punished for it that's like the most basic rule of society. Yeah, it's too close to my screen. But this is a killing game. Yeah. So the punishment for murder is a bit more permanent. It's literally killed or be killed in the truest sense, bro. Yeah. That will have to charge up. I see you said bless you. Thank you, bro. Hell yeah. Oh, I wonder what kind of punishments there'll be. Lots of blood and guts and brains, I bet. The kind. What? The kind of stuff that gives you a what, sir? I told y'all when he was talking about a rock hard ranger, it wasn't a show. Look at him. He's a freak. Yeah? What? Mono Kid? I'm not saying that. Got a rock hard ranger! You see, I told y'all. I told y'all. I can't make this up. How gory. Blood. <laughs> That's your vomit? Okay. Oh, man. Whoa. Monofani just puked. Get a rock hard ranger! Okay, bro, we get it. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I'm not reading this! <laughs> you kids are just adorable! That's adorable to you, Monokuma? Really? What? That's what I'm saying, Kaito. <clears throat> 
What the hell's cute about that? They're freaky, the whole family. The whole lineage is freaky. All right, I'm over all this boring exposition. Thrills, kills, kills! Let's get this heart-pounding killing school semester started already! Aw, oh, man. You have free reign to murder however you like, too! <laughs> We're here, bro. It's the game's officially starting. Like bludgeoning or stabbing. Feeling cheap? Try strangulation. Oh, my Feeling God. Feeling crazy? Try poisoning. Like I said, y'all, I'm going to make a lot of theories and probably ask y'all for predictions. Please refrain from spoilers for the people who have seen this, bro. We're all trying to enjoy this experience together, and we can't do that if, you know, people are spoiling the game. So, please, I'm begging you. No spoilers or hints of any kind, bro. I have the most fun when I'm trying to figure out stuff for myself with theorize, okay? But thank you for tuning in. Just no spoilers, please and thanks. Whether you shoot, burn, drown, blow up, crash, <laughs> electrocute, or laugh your victim to death. And he's saying this all in this voice, like, bro. You can use any method you like to kill anybody you like. Any way you like. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Gonta's finna be one of the first people bodied, bro. He's not gonna kill, but I feel like he's gonna get killed because people will see him as a big threat. At the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, you will realize your murderous potential. Hell nah. 16 talented teenage prodigies, all competing for first place in a killing game. Mm. There's no better setting for an event like this than the Ultimate Academy! This dude's insane in the membrane. If you couldn't tell. He got me. Look at... See, this is what I'm talking about, bro. He could be all cool group leader and then at a moment's notice, he looked like... <laughs> he giving you the death yonder race there. Like, watch out, bro. Killing school semester? It's like a game. Risking our lives for some silly game is absurd. But... It doesn't seem like it'll be boring, though. Look at Kokichi. Like, Kokichi probably got a rock-hard one right now after hearing that. Huh. Hey! How can you degenerates be so calm? It, it can't be. This has to be a lie, right? It's... a lie, right? Like, imagine he getting put into the situation. Like, you're not gonna believe it either, so I can't even fault them. A lie? More well, like fiction. Like a story on TV. A scenario so removed from reality, we can hardly believe it's happening. Exactly my point. It's no use. I, I don't want to be in a killing game. I it's wrong. Uh, I'd never do that. And the thing is, people know Shu's the ultimate detective too. Like that's the thing, in a game like this, if we have to withstand trial, Shu's gonna be a big target as well because they're like if I take out the ultimate detective who's gonna stop me you know so I feel like Shu and Gonta might be like one of the first few people bodied bro <laughs> well if you don't want to participate in the killing game that's gonna be a problem cuz the killing game is the only reason you're here huh? what now then Unleash your talents and have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game! <laughs> oh, jeez. Wait just a minute! Oh? He's freaky. Stop it. No matter what you say, we won't do it! That's wrong! We'll never participate in a killing game! I'll do it! Whatever you have planned, I'm not gonna let you get away with it! Okay, Kayede! I realized in the first two episodes, I think I was pronouncing it wrong. Not Kaede, it's Kaede because of the E in the middle. So my fault if I annoyed anybody with that. Like I said, it's going to take me a while to get pronunciation down. But I see you, Kaede. Get on him. Um. Kaede, you shouldn't just rashly defy that thing. This OST cranking up the horror. That's nice. No, no. I welcome her resistance. That kind of defying spirit. It's important to the killing game. It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and get their hands dirty. What do you mean by that? Like, bro, you're having too much fun with it. <laughs> you said I'm having too much fun with it? 
It's my voice acting debut. I got to. Everyone loves that kind of brutality in a death game. Especially me! It never gets old. It's so fun and entertaining that I just get unbearably pumped up. Cause. Plus, as the headmaster, it's my job to force you to do it. <laughs> Resistance is futile! <laughs> Ew. Don't ever laugh and sink like that. <laughs> that was nasty. And they just laughing in her face. Look at Kaye. Kaye, Kaye she looked pissed. We stood in dumbfounded silence, surrounded by the squealing laughter of Monokuma and his cubs. Everything about this situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall? 16 ultimate students trapped inside? Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons? And new friends forced to play some killing game? It all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. It is, sis, don't worry. <laughs> a sadistic story, no different from reality itself. And against my will, I was now a character in that story. Damn, Kaede! Uh, now he really starting, boy! Dang it, Rumpa, uh. Okay, y'all got a whole second intro? Alright, let's let them cook, y'all! Uh, we officially entering the man game. Prologue is over. Kaede Akamatsu, okay. Kibo, now we get to see the characters for real in their fullest glory. Like I said, dang it, OST will forever be fire to me. You know? It's obviously not number one to me anymore because of Persona, but it is for sure a close second, bruh. Because they be snapping with it. It's giving us a... This is going to be lit, bro. Like, I feel like this dude, Ryomo, Ryomi, I forgot how you say his name. I wonder if he's actually gonna kill, cause like he said, he's already a convicted killer. But would they really have him kill again? Would that be too obvious? Or will he end up being a victim, you know? Like, so many possibilities, bro. Who's gonna kill? Who will be killed? Is anybody gonna make it to the end of the game, you know? Ugh, dang and Rumpa, bro. We are freaking here. And I cannot be more happy. And to share my first experience of this with y'all, bro. Oh! <laughs> we are officially here. By Chunsoft. Thank you for the game, brethren and sisterin, and everybody involved. Ultimate revival. End. So that's the prologue. Should I low cute? Nah. 20 minutes. Come on now. Uh, you obtained Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles Badge. Oh, thank you. Y'all want to save? Indeed I do, bro. That was a long prologue, but I think it was worth it. What y'all think? I had fun. <laughs> I had fun, so. No. Let's enter this. Let's enter the real game now. Like I said, we just had to get accustomed to our surroundings and, our, and the people around us. And now... Stuff out of stuff and a start hitting the fan, man. Just stay in tune with it. After Monokuma and the Mono Cubs left. Oh gosh. An alarm suddenly rang for my monopad. Not just for mine. The alarm was going off throughout the whole gym. Every yeah, which meant everyone else had received the monopad as well. That's our student handbook, like Shu said. When I took mine out, a message was displayed on the screen. Ultimate Academy E Handbook Kaede Akamatsu. Oh, rules. Students must live at the Ultimate Academy for the remainder of their foreseeable future, bruh. Like, what would y'all do in this situation, bruh? You're stuck here? <laughs> and you forced to kill your friends, bro? To live? Oh my gosh. Once a murder takes place, all surviving students must participate in a class trial. 
If the blackened is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. Why every time I say blackened, I see one of y'all pan your eyes towards me. Stop, y'all. That's not okay. <laughs> If the blacken is not exposed, all remaining students will be executed. Damn! If the blacken survives the class trial, they will graduate and re-enter the outside world. The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain? Only two people can make it out of this, bro? It's really kill or be killed. Like, like I said, y'all, if y'all had a kill or be killed to survive and enter back into civilization, bro, being cut off what are y'all doing like really what are y'all doing bro <laughs> oh my gosh that's the thing about dang it it's crazy like i love the games and stories but it's so dark and twisted but for some reason i love it <laughs> like I, it sucks that people have to die because we're obviously gonna get attached and love these characters but damn man for plot they gotta go night time is from 10 p.m to 8 a.m the dining hall and gymnasium are off limits at night. Violence toward Monokuma, the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, is strictly prohibited. Monokuma will never directly commit a murder, right? It's only it's only amongst the, the victims in the game, bro. Your monopads are very important items. Please do not damage them. The body discovery announcement will play when three or more students discover a body. Remember these rules, y'all. Because I, I know I'm going to need reminders. Because after after a while, it's going to be a big break in between uh, me playing this game. So y'all going to have to remind me. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. Which we have. Students who violate these rules will be immediately exterminated by the ex exosols. Oh my gosh. It's just death on death in here. The headmaster may add new regulations to the list at any time. You gotta be kidding me i feel you kaede sis you gotta live though i will never you know i will never participate in a killing game but you gotta live though you know will everybody else just not participate our my class child our class child chapter one daily life okay we here, chapter one. Oh my gosh the aura just changed bro the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juvenile School Regulations. So these are the rules. How? Uh, and they see now I say chapter one in the corner. I do not understand why someone would force us to do this. But... The rules are pretty cut and dry. This game doesn't seem like it'll be boring. Like, Kokichi, we gotta watch out for him, bro. He finna be on some freak timing, like, so, like third imposter. Like, I feel like even if he's not part of the killings, he's gonna try and steer us in the wrong direction for the thrill. And then we're gonna be like, bro, why did you try and sabotage? You know we all could have died, right? He would have been like, well, I gotta keep it fun, right? Oh my god, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this dude. You gotta be it's not the problem! Listen. Please lower your voice. It is ruining the atmosphere. Oh, yeah! Hey, hey, what does the sixth regulation mean? What is it? The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious, Angie, what it means. Only two surviving students? What would be the reason for that? I mean, the killer could either kill them or, you know... You will know who the killer is, because if they didn't do it, you know, they have no one to, to convince. Can't do a trial that's... with two people. It, they, that's what I'm saying. It's because you couldn't do a trial with just two people. I see, I see. You're so smart, Shuichi. I said the same thing, Angie, but okay, I guess you can hear me. Always messing around. Quit screwing around. Killing game? School regulations? Don't screw around. To hell with all that crap. We'll go along with something like that, Kokichi. Kaito raised the monopad as if to smash the device on the ground. You're gonna need it, bro. I would've smashed it if I was you. Oh. Whoa, hey now. Don't do that. School rules say you can't break it. Hmm. If you violate the rules, then the exosols will dispose of you. Either way, you're getting packed up, brother. That's the sucky part of the situation. What? I don't care about the rules. No way I'm gonna play this messed up game. No. This isn't about playing the game. It's too dangerous to disobey him now. 
like I said, I feel like I'm either gonna love Ron Soro's character or I'm gonna, like, hate him. Just forget about him. Just needs one less idiot for the world to deal with. Damn, you. Shut up! Hey! Why are you calling an idiot? I took a deep breath, then shouted with all my might. jeez. Oh, hey! Quit fighting already! Whoa! What the? Look at him saluting at attention. Jeez. We shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. Right now, we need to work together. Hmm. Honestly, I'd probably be more inspiring if I played a song than gave a speech. <laughs> Typical cliche. Mm -hmm. Chopin's military polonaise would definitely help unite us. And she's still quoting like, bro, I don't know the scores. Right? Yeah, I could get behind some bolognese, and I don't even like meter tomatoes. What? What? I agree with Kayede too. We must remember who the real enemy is, okay? Sticking together a little bit? Master told me that strength must always be aimed in the proper direction. Facts. Anyway, you're all panicking too much. Just stay calm like me. That doesn't look very calm to me, sis. Like you're shaking in your boots for real. Wow. You're shaking so much! Really? Even I can't handle these intense vibrations! And trust me, I've got loads of experience! What do you mean by that, Mew? What are you talking about, sis? Hey! A anyway, why don't we work together and search for an exit one more time? What? We looked all over that wall and there wasn't a single hole! Please wait! Now wait a second! If there's no opening in the wall, then how did we get inside these walls in the first place? That's the same logic Kaede said. Uh, Good point. Got it? That means there must be an opening somewhere. We just have to find it. Hmm. Whoever trapped us here wants us to fight each other. All right. So let's show them that we're not going to let that happen. We're not going to fight each other. We're going to work together, okay? How long y'all think uh, that's gonna last? <laughs> you know, with people like Kokichi in the mix. Like, if there wasn't Kokichi, like, who else would have posted this, you know? Oh, God. Ain't nobody get hyped with me, though. You see that? Um. Why are you quiet? Did I say something wrong? I do not agree. On the contrary. I hope they don't body her, bro. I like her. I already like her. She's gonna be one of my favorites. Kira me? Already gonna, she's already gonna be one of my favorites, bro. Like, I know you made your case with such succinct a plot. I don't know what those words are, and we've been rendered speechless. Jeez, <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing, but you beat me to it. Okay, Kaede got that aura about her. Got it, you're exactly right. We can't give up so easily. Uh, come squad, on, come on. see, this is gonna show who our click's gonna be. Let's split up and try to find the exit. Oh, Atua, give us strength. Wow, impressive. I must admit, I admire your spirit. Hey. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. What is it? We were just about to get started. Um. Maybe it not matter much, but going to find manhole earlier in grass behind school building. They got a sewer system? I mean, they got to if we got bathrooms, right? Huh? A manhole? Going to peek in. See big underground passage. Think maybe it exits. What? Sorry. It's probably not so simple. I mean, it's a lead, though. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. You gotta mention it pouring stuff like that much faster. <laughs> Go to peeking. See big underground passage. Think maybe it exits. Uh, no. Wait, not like that. You're talking too fast. Either way. The boiler is behind the school building. We must corroborate Gonta's claim at once. Ugh. Gonta, please lead the way. So Gonta. you see who the squad is now. Okay, everyone, follow Gonta. Aw, Gonta. Like, he's so much of a sweetheart, bro. I'm scared. With Gonta leading us, we hurried up the gym. Except Shu and Rontaro. This one I was about to follow after them. Right, why is... Wow, impressive. Kaede. That was pretty cool back there. Huh? What was? How should I put this? The way you changed the mood completely. Seems like everyone looks up to you. You gonna be jealous about it or what? Mm. Looks up to me? Come on, that's ridiculous. I just spoke from the heart is all. So unsure. So it just comes naturally to you. 
then that's even more cool. Yeah, we still don't even know Rontaro's ultimate talent either. Like, I, he don't even look like, you know, usually you can kind of associate talent with appearance, but like, you know, what what could he be off the of looks, bro? I can't tell. <laughs> you have what it takes to win. Stop that face, please. Huh? What? That means. See, at a moment's notice, he start tweaking out, bro. I was just thinking. What you said back there would have pissed off whoever's running this. They definitely don't want us holding hands or working together. I'm sure. They're going to come for you, Kaede. With everything they've got. Like, bro, this is not the encouragement I need. I'm a little worried about you. You're just so straightforward. Ugh, he just gives me the ick, bro. Uh. And the way he goes. That guy could really stand to be less cryptic, right? That's true. Perhaps it's a warning? That's what I think anyway. Being strong-willed could get you into a lot of trouble around here. Bro, you can't stand out too much, you know? Sorry. I didn't mean to sound so negative at a time like this. No. It's fine. At least said that because you worried, aren't you? They better not do my girl Kaede dirty, bro. But... Yeah. Bronsero is a mystery. He forgot his ultimate talent as well, I'm saying. Is that something you can really forget? I mean, yeah, we all did. <laughs> like, bro. Well, there's no use thinking about it right now. We should just head to that manhole. Okay. Ah, you're right. All right, to the sewers we go, bro. Uh, uh, the game has officially started, bro. But okay. Yeah, I was worried I was taking too long in the prologue. I'm like, bro. Like, I was enjoying it, but like, am I really like just doing too much? Am I talking against the dialogue too much or what? You know what I mean? That's not the way out, right? Yeah, this is still locked. Okay. But you know, what? I hope y'all don't mind, man. <laughs> I know I talk a lot and like pause a lot, but you know, I gotta add my two cents. That's the whole point of a let's play, or else y'all wouldn't be watching me and just play the game yourselves, right? I hope I'm right in thinking that it's not the Lulu. Here, cause you love my commentary and jokes and editing, right? <laughs> but they said it themselves, the prologue was long. Oh my god, they're really just here chilling. Um, Gonta, you wanna tell me where I have an item now? Oh yeah, they did give me a special item, huh? What is this for? Proof that you cleared the prologue. It's a badge of the Ultimate Academy insignia. Apparently, there are only 16 of these in the world. Well, it makes sense for 16 students. Um, where does everybody need to go? Okay. Let's get to where they need us to go. Okay, so I was in the right place. Just go straight. So I'm like, where everybody at? The manhole is behind the school building. I need to catch up with everyone. Is this not it? Oh, behind, stupid. Oh my god, it's my fault, y'all. <laughs> like, bro, they said behind it. Hey, bro, it's only episode three. We just learning. We just learned the layout of the land last episode, bro, okay? Chill on me, bro. Backyard, is this it? I didn't even check back here. And I thought I explored everything. Boiler room. Okay, here's where everybody is. Like they said, to an Man. extent, we could we could explore freely. Looks like we're all here. So where's this manhole? You almost scared me back there, Kyo. Um, over there in grass. Okay, let's see. Um, just talking about this. I don't need to hear everybody's thoughts every time, though. You know, it's true. There really is a manhole in the grass. Unless Kaye, they say she want to hear everybody's thoughts. I don't need to. That's just extra time being wasted. Important hole near some bush? Sounds familiar, am I right, ladies? Mew, relax, bro. Damn. Whoa. This manhole cover looks heavy. Can we even lift it? I'm pretty sure Gonza can. You see how big he is? Leave it to me. I can try. I forgot we have a whole robot on the squad. Like, <laughs> he both placed his hands on the manhole cover, and with all his strength, he. Don't tell me you're a robot and you can't lift it, bro. Move out the way. Let Gonta get in the mix. Like, come on. My apologies. <laughs> How embarrassing. I won't even budge. 
a robot's not even strong enough to move it? Listen closely. Oh, don't worry. My physical strength is approximate to that of a strong senior citizen. That's not a flex. Piece of shit! Oh my gosh, Mew, relax! <laughs> the professor did not want a repeat of the tragedy that occurred during trial production. I'm not hip to the shattered tragedy, brother. Now I'm just plain curious about what happened during that trial. Same. Allow Gota. There you go, I'm saying, bruh. He's that arc for a reason, he can't be weak. Going to lift cover before to peek inside. Should be able to pick up cover too. Going to place his hand on the manhole cover and. Let's go, going to. Upsy daisy. All he needed was an index and phone to pick up a manhole cover. Do y'all know how heavy a manhole cover is, y'all? Google it. Google it yourself, because it is not light for a regular person. And he picked it up like this. Nobody should mess with Gonza. Like, realistically, he should <laughs> make it to the end of the game with that strength, bro. So easily? I'm saying. The strength must be due to my magic. Yep. Himiko, shut up, girl. I love you, but like, shut up. Oh, you're amazing, Himiko. Okay, Tenko. What should Gonta do with cover now? Place it anywhere but back on covering the hole. Please leave it somewhere else. Right. Be careful not to hit anyone with it. Yeah, uh, that's that's my baby Kurumi talking. Um, actually, Gonta no can do that. Bro. Very rude to litter. You wanna put it in your pocket then? But with nowhere to dispose of the manhole cover, going to begrudgingly toss it aside. Watch it magically hit Monokuma and that's how he goes out. Because how are you going to take out Gonta? You know what I mean? God damn. The manhole cover easily traveled five yards before it hit the ground. This man is 6'6", 207 pounds with super strength, bruh. He's him. What a wonderful strength. You could likely crush a child's skull with ease. Yo, Kyo! Gonta never do that? How ungentlemanly! Gonta never do that! Um, Gentlemen or not, no one would do that, right? But... But Gonta is so much more reliable than some bean-counting robot, so Kikichi and Kibo are gonna have forever beef in this game, got you. Hmm. Are you talking about me? Because I can count many things, not just beans. Kibo, you need to study roast, cause you can't, you can't let Kokichi keep cooking you like this. While everyone else was talking, I slowly peeked into the manhole. Alright, it was too dark inside to see clearly, but I could feel cold, moist air drifting up from it. Actually, this place is kind of creepy. We're really going in here? Got it. I'm sure it's fine. At the very least, we definitely won't die down there. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, give me a second because it's getting dark outside, so I gotta close these blinds. <laughs> this daylight savings is hitting hard, brother. <laughs> it's only 4.30 and it's already about to get, like, getting gray and dark outside, bruh. But I do love this time of year, you know? Fall, winter, my personal favorite time of year. I can understand why people, it's not people's favorite, but to me, you know, it just fills me with joy. Uh, yeah, I read this. I'll protect you! If anything happens, I'll protect most of you, but the degenerate males are on their own. So I wonder, Tenko, how do you feel about Kibo? Because, like, you know, he's a robot. He's not really a human male, you know? Going to protect you. Uh, Gonta's a real one. I love Gonta. Gonta's going to be one of my faves. And Gonta protect man folk. Uh, my brother. That's true. Awfully quiet. Where are the Monokuma and the Mono Cubs? I see, yes. I was certain they would show up at some point and crush us like rotten nuts. <laughs> they probably haven't noticed yet. I mean, we're on camera at all times, so they probably are watching us right now. I see. Then let's hurry before they show up to mess with us. Like, they have monitors everywhere, bro. One by one, we each descended down into the manhole. What they got in store for us here, bro? Like, you know? Talk about it. I hate when they play this tune. Once we all had climbed down the ladder, we looked around and saw an open area. What you see, sis? Talk it, talk it to a bro. Then you rubber flow. Know how to go. Go into my bro. <sighs> like, I don't know where to go after that. It's more spacious than I thought it'd be. Well, you're three foot five, so everywhere's pretty spacious for you, brother. Yoo-hoo! 
Yoda Lay. What is it? What is this place? Kokichi played too much, bruh. That is correct. An old industrial passageway, I suspect. Perhaps factories once existed here. Yo, I'm not like I love Karumi already, but she's just, she's just so cool. Like, bro, she's so cool. Ah. And this is all that's left of them. Hey. Hey, take a look at this. Uh oh. Exit? <laughs> that is way too obvious. Like, what a considerate sign. Apparently, the end of the tunnel is the exit. Um... Like, I feel like that's a trap, bro. I'm saying, Tenko, if she could even sniff it out, you know? Consider it. You don't think it's weird that someone went out of their way to write exit, bro? <laughs> don't piss yourself in fear. Your natural scent is bad enough. Okay, dude, that was a good one. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was a good one. I I'm not scared. That smell just fine, thank you. Hey. Well then, go on ahead. No point standing around here. That's... Uh, yeah. Yeah. No need to worry. It looks a bit dangerous, but we're all ultimates here. Are we sure we all are? Rontaro don't know if he's the ultimate anything, you know? Yeah, that's right. As long as we work together, everything will work out just fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Well said. That's exactly what I was going to say. We're really on the same wavelength, Kaede. I told you, Kaito and Kaede, they're going to get along great. Give me a hug. Now you're doing too much. Why do you want to hug her? You just met her, bro. We all know. Okay, you're a pervert on the low. We gotta watch out for you. No. All right, bro. Ugh, degenerate male. That, okay, I'm agreeing with Tenko on this, because why? Like, what? He's a... Can I, where my hug at? ...type of dude. Like, stop it, bro. Typical degenerate behavior. You're trying to trick her into pressing her chest against you. See how disappointed she looked, bro? And he had no rebuttal at all. Okay. Let's look at this exit. The sign says exit and everything. What a cruel joke. So you want to go? Oh, I'm like, you going about it? It'll probably be okay. There'll be an exit at the end of this. And once we reach it, this will all be over. I just know it. I clung fiercely to that belief as we stepped into the tunnel. You're about to take on the death road of despair. I know you telling the player this, shouldn't you tell the students this? What do you mean death road of despair? The objective is simple. Everyone work together to escape. It's a mini game? Press the left stick and directional buttons to move and press the circle button to jump, okay? You'll encounter plenty of traps set up to prevent you from escaping. Cheer, jump, move. Okay, got you. If you hit a trap or fall off a ledge, that person will be eliminated and control will switch to one of the remaining students. If everyone is eliminated, game over, man. What? Oh, sorry, didn't mean for things to get that real. Not, they really trying out new stuff this game, bruh. For now, stay vigilant and do your best to reach the exit. Not that it matters. What do you mean, not that it matters? Um, alright. We're really doing this, bruh. Uh, okay, everybody. Everyone, be careful. Here. What? Damn it. A is on this my side. For me. Hi, hi. <laughs> Time to do my best. Bye, Onora. Hello? <laughs> what do they want me to do here, bruh? <laughs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, I just run. Okay. You are doing entirely too much, but everybody's dying. I wanted to get these extra models. I couldn't do it. What? I do not get this, bro. What the hell was that? What? How are we supposed to get past that? As I slowly opened my eyes, it dawned on me that I had somehow lost consciousness. Is that why you said not that it matters? We were all supposed to die? Uh, What's up? Are you feeling alright? You're awake. Are you alright? 
I'm fine, but what about everyone else? I looked around and saw the other sitting on the ground. So was I just supposed to die? Because how the hell do I beat that, bro? Like, what? Was that just a troll? Everyone sat in stunned silence. A sobering sadness filled the air. Oh. So this was really just a troll? Okay, y'all got jokes, I guess. <laughs> Jeez! This is quite the pity party, you sad sacks are throwing for yourselves. Huh? M Monokuma? I guess that's why they said not that it matters, huh? <laughs> they are really that much smaller than him? Y'all saw that? Wow, you all look exhausted. Poor things. I feel sorry for you. Aww. Sheesh, this place is filthy. It's murder on my cashmere skin. Stop it. Hey! I've been mono damaged from the lucky right now. His body's already a cheap piece of junk. Oh my god. Right, don't even pay him no mind, Mono Dam. This is how I gotta start doing haters, bruh. You know what I mean? I know I don't really talk about it, but on the clips I be posting, I'm getting a lot more flack lately for some reason. You know? I don't know what I be doing wrong to people, but people just don't like me. My, that's why my name is Most Hated JC. I, stop, I gotta stop giving people the time of day, you know? Don't let it get to me. Let it just hit and then bounce off. Hey. Why don't you respond to him, Mono Dam? I liven things up a little, you know? Nah, cause when he said, when the first thing he decided to say in the game was killing time, that was crazy, cause he don't talk, so he can stay not talking. So you guys crawled out of your holes. I guess you finally noticed what we were up to. Noticed? I know for a while that you guys would botch whatever escape plan you had, so that was supposed to happen, it was a canon event. Huh? What? Um... Yeah, I also... Kinda, pretty much new too. What are you saying? That's a lie. Then? If you knew all along, then this was just a trap. You're the worst of the worst! And there was no exit! You tricked us! Okay, I don't feel bad, because I'm like, there's no way I'm this bad at Dangan Rumpa, bro. Don't worry! No, well, there's an exit. So? I think you guys managed to reach it if you all work together. Oh, no. Yeah, there's nothing you 16 Ultimates can accomplish if you work together. <laughs> and if at first you don't succeed, pick yourself up and try again. Pick yourself up and try again. Monokuma, what you know about Aaliyah, bro? R.I.P. Try, try again. <laughs> try as many times as you want until you accept reality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So was I not? So long. So was I supposed to die or was I not supposed to die? I'm confused. So we can't escape if we work hard enough? Fucking moron! No way, you little moron! They'd be freaking out if we could actually reach it. Jeez. That's probably why they let us try. They wanted us to try the underground passage so we learned that escape is impossible. Okay, because that was ridiculous. I was like, how was I supposed to do that? You got me. Instead of blocking off every exit completely, they leave that little bit of hope. Mm -mm -mm. They want us to be desperate to go home. Corner us mentally. I mean, it looked like it's working on Shu, bro. You having a heart attack, bro? Actually, that's just rotten. You might be right, but... We can't just give up. Yeah. Right, you guys? I mean... We've only failed once, you know? Is this where everybody gonna start turning on Kaede, bruh? We can't give up this early, right? Okay. But isn't getting out of here impossible? That's not true. It may take one more try or a lot more tries, but it's not impossible. Forget about Monokuma. It doesn't matter what he says to us. I'll get us out of here. I don't want to lose to him. I don't want any of you to lose either! I refuse to lose to someone who would do these terrible things to us! You're right. Kayede! I think this is the closest we got to like a, a happy face from Shu. He's just been concerned this whole time. Mm hmm. So let's all work hard to escape this place together. Gonta is not hearing that, bro. You see him in the back? And once we get out of here and make it to the outside world. Right? Why don't we all stay friends? Um. Friends? That changed his whole face up. Never mind. Yeah. After going through an experience like this, 
I think we'd all be the best of friends. Trauma bonding. Right? I mean, it's not every day you get to meet other ultimates, right? So, what do you say? <laughs> that might not be bad. Okay, Ryoma! Yeah. That's a great idea. Then. Then we've all the more reason to escape this place no matter what. Uh, inspire the hope. <laughs> my body is ready. You can tell by how out of control my pit sweat is. Maybe Mew was right about you smelling crazy, Tenko. Like, you just proved her theory. I'm glad. Everyone! But... Isn't it premature to say we'll, what we'll do after we escape? Assumptions are all but useless. Whoa! Jeez, you're clueless. Why am I not surprised that a robot can't read the air, right? Kibo, like, come on, bro. That's robophobic. Okay. Robots can read the air. They send innovations in pollutant detecting technology, I... That's not what he meant, Kibo. You're proving him right. Let's go! Anyway, it doesn't matter if Monokuma says it's impossible. We'll show him what we can do! That's right. Yeah, you're right! You're right. It seems like a pain, but I guess I'll try. Yeah. Let's work together. We messed up last time, but I'm sure it'll go well this time. Okay, Kokichi. Maybe he could be cool. I'm sure we'll be fine. A divine wind will blow through and lift us to victory. Wonderful. Ah, humanity is truly wonderful. The way you all confront adversity is beautiful. You're nasty, Kyo. So do we try it again? With our bond stronger than ever, we stepped into the tunnel once more. I'm not about to keep doing this if I'm just gonna fail every time, bro. That's what we're not about to do. People at Spike, Toonstock, and Co. Like, let's be real here. Okay, so that. Hold on, y'all. Jump here. Leave it to me. Lose here. Damn it! Are we for real right now? I am a fine. Fan. I'll fucking do it. Thank you. F, oh, F the coins, bro. No! Everyone, be careful. I just can't touch this at all. Wait, it's a whole bomb there, bruh. What do you want me to do here? Like what? Oh my gosh. on my side. Yo, bro. Are we for real right now? Sorry. Let's go. Everyone. Looks like it's so good. Still. Let's have fun with you. Leave it to me, yeah. everyone. <laughs> Yo. This is ridiculous, bro. He didn't even jump. Like, am I really this trash, or like, is there a way to beat this? When I finally woke up, searing pain coursed throughout my entire body. How the hell was I supposed to do that? I don't get enough space to jump, and when I jump, I don't jump. Like, oh my god. Do I actually have to complete that? Like, let's be real here. I see. I lost consciousness again. Why? And I was looking forward to a happy ending. Why do you have a mushroom in your scalp? Don't worry. Not yet. We're just getting started. Mm -hmm. uh, of course. This will be a piece of cake. <laughs> Don't are gonna escape. Become friends with everyone. Gentlemen, never give up! Uh, this time, this time we'll reach the exit, so I'm supposed to fail. Bro, come on now. <laughs> come on now, let's be real with ourselves. This time, those words carried me as I stepped into the tunnel once again. But, okay, I'm like, bro, y'all not about to heat, keep having me do this over and over just for new failure dialogue. Come on, y'all, like, come on, bro. Don't make me hate you. It was no good. This is a. I never thought I'd see Kaede like this, bro. Even so, we refused to surrender. We kept telling ourselves that this time we'll escape. Okay, so I'm not trash. I was. There, there was literally nothing about it. I'm like, why am I moving so weird? Okay, okay. They love it. They're giving me some copium here. I'm not mad at it. But we failed each time. With every attempt, we repeated the words this time over and over again. But in the very end, couldn't do it. Okay. They made me feel what it's like with those two attempts. Those were more than enough, bro. I thought we'd be able to escape as long as we never gave up. 
but it made no difference in the end. Damn, bro. That's such a terrible feeling. <laughs> Failed. Again. Damn. Damn it. Seems like I can't go on. That's wrong. Wait. We can't give up. This time we'll. Well, you know. Oh my god. What is that face? See, Kokichi was on our side. Now it looks like he's going to turn to the dark side, bro. Because that face is nightmare fuel, bro. Huh? Oh, my fault. He said, knock it off already. I don't like that. You're free to keep trying on your own. But forcing us to join you is basically torture. Uh, torture? That's so mean. You know what really hurts? Being denied the right to give up in an impossible situation. Whoa. Okay, I didn't expect you would be showing emotion. You won't let us give up. No matter what we say, you have the moral high ground. That doesn't sound like torture to you. When you say you, we can't give up, you're not inspiring us. You're strong arming us. That's wrong. I, I didn't mean it like that. Hey, degenerate male. Quit being so selfish. They really have her say, hey, degenerate male. Okay, bro. Please don't. I'm not being selfish. The others feel the same way too. Huh? What? Is that facts, y'all? Ah. Uh, um, everyone. Oh man, look at Mew. She's thinking of all types of names to call me. My spirit is nearly broken. This hardship gnaws at me. Damn, Kyo. Given the circumstance, the most logical course of action would be to give up. And that's the robot talking, man. Damn. Yeah. Hisashi Mitsui in the second half of a basketball game. Is that a real basketball player or a Kuriko no basketball reference? Because I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see it. I knew this was impossible from the start. Damn, Maki. This bullshit is a waste of my precious time and energy. So what else would you be doing? Inventing? Taking drugs like you were trying to? I can't let you all rely on my magic. <laughs> Besides, I don't have enough MP. And look at Angie praying. We already know what her line finna be. I'm just relieved that no one was seriously injured. Praise be to Atua. Okay, that wasn't exactly what I thought. You got it. <laughs> you got it. And Wait. We no can give up. Hey guys. Hey guys. Are you really okay with not getting out of this place? No. We shouldn't have to push ourselves. Let's just find another way out, okay? Huh? I mean, right? This may not be the only way. No way. Cause what they say, trying some, trying the same thing time and time again, expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. You know? You can't let them drive you insane. There could be other ways. You're talking about the killing game, aren't you? Oh, that's not what I was talking about. I just meant other escape routes. So you're gonna interpret it like that, huh? That's not how I did. You gotta be kidding me! What are you saying? There's no way we can do the killing game! <laughs> Calm down. Want some bubble gum? You can blow pretty big bubbles with it. <laughs> Looks like this little degenerate wants his head smashed into the ground. Tango about that action. Wait! Stop, guys! Shouldn't be fighting. Jeez. <laughs> Back to the world. Fell apart pretty quick for a group that decided to be friends and work together. Man, just like that, the harsh reality of Dangin sense in, bro. Sorry. This is all my fault. I'm so sorry. Uh, um. No, Kaede. Dumbass. I idiot! What are you apologizing for? It's not your fault at all! Then why are you cussing at me? Hmm. Really? I think it's Kaede's fault. What? Why? Oh no, like you didn't have no better ideas. What y'all gotta yap about on the announcements, bruh? And they just chill This is an announcement! From the Ultimate Academy for Goof Gifted Juveniles. I butchered that whole line. It is now nighttime. We spent the whole day trying to escape, bruh. 
of fit. It's it is now 10 p.m. Nighttime officially starts now. It's Betty Bot time. Whether you've been good or naughty, it's time to go tinkle and go to Betty Bye. Please be careful. The dining hall and gym are locked during nighttime, so be careful. Damn. Bedtime or sign. Sweet dreams. Just like that, bruh. It's nighttime. Oh, the UI changes color and go from yellow to blue in nighttime. That's fire. Nighttime, huh? Well, no sense pushing our luck, right? We should all stay in our dorms at nighttime, bruh, because that's when the demon's really gonna come out of play. We should probably just get a fresh start tomorrow. Huh? Fresh start? Right, did y'all not see the dorm rooms? What do you think? We've each been assigned a room in the dormitory. Perhaps we should rest there? <laughs> We're gonna rest there! Why are you so scared? What's wrong? Rooms aren't that bad. Much better than my prison cell, that's for sure. What? That's not very inspiring. But... It makes me nervous to think we'll be staying the night at this creepy school. Okay. Well, nothing we can do but suck it up. So, what's our plan for tomorrow? Kokichi's interesting is... I mean, what? Kokichi's energy is interesting, bro. Like I said, him and Ronsaro, I don't know if I'm gonna love him or hate him. Since the dining hall opens at 8 a.m., how about we meet there at that time? That's right. Sure, I think that'll work. I'm okay with that. It's decided. Can we go to our rooms already? Either way. Yes. We should get as much rest as we can and regain our strength. I don't know if I can go pee by myself in the middle of the night. I hope our bathrooms are in our rooms. I'll come with you. If you don't mind, that is. Just let me know. You're talking about degenerate males and look at you drooling at the mouth. I didn't know she was really going to be fixated on, Hiko, on Himiko like this. So she a lollicon with it. <laughs> I did not know that's the time Tango was finna be on. I thought she just wanted to be friends with her. But nah, she's she's like that. Oh. Hey guys. Just as a warning. I put this. We shouldn't let our guards down. We'll be easy targets at night. Yeah, this the one this one of the few times I'm gonna agree with Ron Taro, bro. You mean? Cause of the killing game, you mean? You know, even though we said we all gonna be friends, you never know, bro. Stay all your P's and Q's. Please wait. I see no need to worry about something illogical as God damn! I see I didn't eat breakfast, y'all. I didn't eat breakfast yet, that's why. I see no need to worry about something as illogical as murder taking place here. I know, I know. Just a warning. Damn, Rontaro, like you know you gotta take precautions in this situation. But then you're gonna look sus for just bringing the topic up. So Shu and, and Kaito are my homies for her. Why y'all still here? Talk about it. I mean... Hey! Why did you apologize before? You didn't do anything wrong, you know? Um... Well, when we tried to escape, it felt like we were united behind a common goal. But after I put everyone's life at risk, that unity is gone now. Seriously? Come on! Shut up! That's just a stupid end result. It's not like you wanted it to go that way. Fat. So Kaito is a real one. Like I said, they're gonna get along, bruh. Listen up. Don't apologize for something that's not your fault. It'll just make you feel bad. Message? You know... Everyone just decided to blame you and give up. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind later. Okay, Kaito! <sighs> well, anyway. Let's just go to sleep for now. See you tomorrow. Uh, Kaito's a homie. Thank you, Kaito. Real one. Shoot, what you talking about, brother? Uh, um... Um... Kaede? I don't think you need to worry about what Kokichi said. You weren't pressuring us. At least I don't think so, right? We all want to get out of here, bro. They're just misplacing their disappointment. Yeah. Thanks, Shuichi. But I'm exhausted. Let's just go back to our rooms and rest. You're right. Right. Well, see you tomorrow. Damn, Kaede. Kaede, don't beat yourself up. You was the only one offering ideas in the first place, bro. You can't be mad about it. I'm gonna probably wrap it up after we go to sleep right now. You know? I feel like this is a perfect spot. What's good, Gonta? Why are you just chilling here? What's the matter? Right, what's wrong, Gonta? You're not going back to the dorms? Um... Gonta worry about manhole. Think it okay with cover gone? 
What if someone fall in? It hurt real bad. No, yeah, he low-key should put it back because if something happens and the manhole is moved, we know like only Gonta Gonta's the only one who can move it, you know? Cause Gonta gentlemen. Gentlemen no can ignore that. But Kirim Kirimi tell Gonta to leave cover off. Oh, you said Kurumi said to leave it off? Oh, then we gotta leave it off. Like, you know? <laughs> Her wish is my command. Don't mm. not know what to do. Um, everyone knows it's here, so I'm sure we'll all be careful. Don't worry about it. You're right. Maybe Gonta just keep eye on it. Thank you, Kayede. Gonta go back to room now. Good night. Yeah. Yep, good night. They better not do Gonta foul, bruh. No, Gonta may look scary but he's actually a very kind innocent soul and those are the first victims here bro do not do gonta dirty bruh so far my favorite characters are gonta kaede and kirumi kirumi i hope i'm saying it right you know like don't hurt them bruh they cool oh uh, what's good baby kirumi in my face are you feeling all right is something the matter please rest and try to regain as much strength as you can Escaping this place will prove to be quite difficult. Best not fret over it. And that's why that's my bestie right there. Uh, and who's over here that wanna talk? I'm not gonna talk, go looking for everybody. I'm gonna go into the dorms after we talk to them people. Yeah, cause we're right there. Do give me, you still on my side, sis? Seems like. Seeing it like this, the school really is eerie. An interesting place in the day, but Having to stay the night is too much, right? I could imagine, bro. Like, this is already a scary situation, and now you add in nighttime on top of that, bro. Like, that's like nightmare fuel. Like, real nightmare fuel. Himiko, are we still friends? You know? Please tell me that we are. My magic. If you really can't fall asleep, I'll put you to sleep with a magic hammer. Pause, bro. I don't want to know anything about no magic hammer. Rest in peace. That would be an internal sleep. Oh my god, the energy changed so fast, bro. Let's go to the dorms. Let's go to the dorms, bro. So I could wrap this episode up. Damn, hour 30. Dang it, episodes might just end up running a little longer, bro. Like, you know? Hope y'all don't mind. I'm enjoying it. I'll try, I'll, end up, I'll, I'll try to end them at good spots, you know? But it looks like it's gonna be a little lengthy. This is our first look at the rooms, though. I gotta see this. So this is my room. Well, it's not too shabby. What the hell is that? The key? Is it the key to this room? Okay. Um, how did you just show up in my room, pervert? You got it right! Nice work! That is, in fact, the key to this room! You probably don't have anything worth stealing in here. But you should still lock your door when you leave. Oh, my door gonna stay locked. What? Hell yeah! Alright, now it's time for me to give you a special hint. If you steal someone else's key, you can sneak into their room and kill them easily. Right now, you're on the Are you telling this to everyone? <laughs> That's wrong. Shut up! I don't wanna hear that! <laughs> I just got chewed out! Get out of my room, perv! Jeez. This place is the worst. I just want to go home. All right, Kayede. We just... We got to look at closet. Anything in here? Let's investigate our room before we go nappy by. Is this a closet? I guess I'll take a look inside just to be safe. Huh? What is this? Inside, there were uniforms that matched the one I was wearing. Lots of uniforms. Well, we got SpongeBob's closet, bro. A bunch of the same fits. Did they air all these? They prepared everything just to keep us trapped here. But why? Oh god. You know, I just want to make sure I investigate everything before, you know, going to bed. I'm not finna just go to sleep in an unfamiliar setting. Are you kidding me? Are you dab? <laughs> so that's the only thing you want me to investigate? Closet? Door? Okay. All right, so I can't like, I don't want to click the bed because that might put me to sleep. I should sleep to prepare for tomorrow. Okay, so you just wanted to check the closet and that's all. Gotcha, sis. You said everything else don't matter. All right, let's go to bed then. I'm tired. Does my body hit the bed? My body immediately froze. Whoa. 
After everything that had happened, I forgot just how physically and mentally exhausted I was. I could only imagine, sis. You, you don't deserve to go through this. Thought we would achieve our goal as long as we didn't give up. It had always been my mentality whenever I practiced the piano. But maybe playing piano is easy. Because I'm blessed. That talent. Mmm, we get to see some inside. I like this. Now, you are ultimate at one thing. You're not an ultimate at life in general. Now, she gonna doubt if she's well suited for this. Choppin's prelude playing in my head. Fell into a deep Mmm. On Hokuma Theater? Okay. They brought this back. Oh my god, what am I looking at? Now students of the Ultimate Academy! Congratulations! The weeds here have grown thick with joy as you're celebrating your entrance into this school. Seeing your anxious eyes shine with murderous intent makes me oh so happy! Like he wanna be uh what what was him? Leatherface from uh, the game that just came out, Texas Chainsaw? If you ever feel lost, don't be shy. Talk to your friends or a teacher. Let's all get along! The model comes to our teachers, bro. I'm not talking to them. And let's do lots of killing, too. No, thank you, bro. I pray for the physical and mental well-being of this new killing school semester. Oh, yeah, for y'all not familiar with Dangin, I guess to keep it less gory, instead of red, the blood is pink in this game. So whenever you see pink liquid like this, that's blood. I mean, I pray for the well-being of your students. Yes, that will do. Yuck, bro. That's a nasty image. Like, I don't want to see that when I go to sleep. Are you crazy? And I gotta wake up to these fools. <laughs> like, you see how many speakers are on there? You can't, shine shine. you can't sleep through that if you wanted to with all them speakers. This is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy. Say that, yeah! Time to wake up and face the blood drenched day! Oh my god. So. I wonder who's dead this morning. Stop it! If I suddenly see a dead body, I'll puke again! Have fun! Enjoy your killing school semester! Like, how am I gonna enjoy that? That's a terrible message to start my day. Like, get out of my face with that. Hmm. I saw some terrible dream. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Wait. I don't have time to joke around. I said I'd meet the others in the dining hall. One must be waiting. I need to get to the dining hall ASAP. Well, that ASAP will indeed have to be saved for next episode, Kaede. Day. That does it for episode three, y'all. When we come back, we finna meet up with the others and try and find another way to escape. I hope y'all enjoying this game, bro, because like I said, I know for a fact I am. All right. Y'all, that's gonna do it for episode 3 of Dangin V3. Uh, you know, we are officially in the true mix of Dangin. Like they said, they even said themselves the prologue was supposed to be long, bro. So I hope y'all didn't mind that. You know, now is where we start cooking. They explained what type of situation we in and what trials and tribulations we are gonna have to go to to beat this game, bro. So, hey, I hope you guys are here for the ride and are excited as I am to continue this, bro, because I already know dang is going to be heat. You know, I live for these detective games, bro, these detective-esque games. So, you know, I'm just happy we're playing dang and I'm, I'm just still in disbelief and I'm here to enjoy every single second, bro, even when they put me through bull like that uh, fake escape maze. No wonder the dude said, even though it doesn't matter at the end. <laughs> but, hey, bro. If you enjoyed today's episode of Danganronpa V3 as much as I did and you want to see the series continued, make sure you leave a like and comment so I know that you've been enjoying this series so far and you want to see more. If you are new here and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn that bell so you're always going to know when new videos are going out because trust me, you're not going to miss a single one, bro. I'm always trying to do my best to provide the top, topest tier of top tier content, so you know, I hope I'm doing my best. I'm you know, it's transferring. It's translating to y'all. You know, I'm doing my best, man. So, I hope it's to your liking. 
Um, if you want to be a little most hated news, follow the socials that are displayed right here. They're also always linked down in the description below for a direct link to our social. You want to follow me on also link down in the description if you want to take an extra step to support your boy. Consider joining the most hated membership, but I'm gonna try and do you know some members only content here and there for that tier two because, like I said, but for the membership, you get you get first like everybody gets fire emotes and badges but depending on different tiers you get different perks as well but my brothers and sisters so you know it's not mandatory but you know if you feel like i'm worthy of taking an extra step of support besides just liking commenting you know being subscriber you know you could always donate in the donation link super chat or do the membership if you want to you know make sure i can keep doing this <laughs> and also link down there another thing that's linked down there is the link to the most hated mafia discord tap into that to really get into with the community on another level and speaking of community make sure you keep an eye on that community tab because i do try and post on there as well but as always love and appreciate y'all for all the support I cannot wait to see y'all in the next banging episode, bruh. You already know I'm recording it right after I press end recording on this one, bruh.